This is Hama, the last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe for her time and the cruel inventor of the technique known as bloodbending. But what if I told you she wasn't the last waterbender of the South during her time? Now obviously Katara came later, but there was actually a young boy during the time of Hama who escaped the Fire Nation raids on the Southern Water Tribe and wanted revenge for his fellow benders. So hit that subscribe button and let's break down the story. As we know from Avatar The Last Airbender, over 60 years before the time of Aang's return, the Fire Nation began their raids on the Southern Water Tribe. These raids slowly chipped away at the benders of the South until eventually only one remained in the whole South Pole, Hama. Hama and her fellow waterbenders did everything they could to resist the onslaught of the firebending army, but it just wasn't enough, and even she was eventually captured. Before the raids began though, there was actually a young girl named Aniki who lived with her brother Minak and her friend Teek. She was very happy with her life in the village and enjoyed playing every day with the other kids. The problem was, her very young brother was a proficient waterbender which would put a huge target on his back should the Fire Nation ever come. Well, one day while Aniki and Minak were away playing, their home was brutally attacked by Fire Nation soldiers who were looking for waterbenders. As Aniki and her brother were on their way home, she noticed the Fire Nation soldiers at their fireplace and knew from that moment onwards they could never return. If she were to go back home, she would endanger her brother's life and even put her parents at risk. Because of this, Aniki grabbed her brother and travelled to a nearby house to get her friend Teek, and from that point onwards, they did nothing but run for days on end. They eventually made it out of the Southern Water Tribe and made it to the shore of the Fire Nation. From there, they rushed to the Fire Nation capital, and Teek found out about a scroll that would expose the Fire Nation war crimes to the world. The only problem was that this scroll was located in the Dragonbone Catacombs, which were heavily secured. This is the same place you see Zuko reading the scrolls from his great-grandfather. Aniki decided that for her brother's safety, they probably shouldn't break into the catacombs, but after some time thinking, she completely flipped. Aniki went ballistic and was sick of being on the run. She decided to steal the scroll in the catacombs so that she could expose the worst of the Fire Nation and get revenge for the villains that had taken so much from her. And that's all we know about her and her brother's story so far. We can only hope that they were never captured and that Minark didn't learn bloodbending. But if he did, that may have been another branch of the tree for how bloodbending got to Yakone by the time of Korra. Thanks so much for watching guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.